Hey BC, it's that time finally. James here with my 100 plus subs contest. Pew, 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 Fire just imagine fireworks going off. Cause I ain't gonna shoot those off inside the house. Even though I do got bottle rockers from last year. I gotta find something. <laughs> Alright. Oh. It's been in my fridge for a while. To celebrate, I've got a $5 bottle of beer. $5. I bought it because of one reason. It is imported from the British beer, Great Britain, Trooper. Handcraft by Robinson's Brewery, a premium British beer trooper. Now, does this guy look familiar? Because it's an Iron Maiden inspired beer, baby! Packer pint glass. Go Packers against the Cowboys this Sunday in Green Bay. Look at that pour. Can't get any better than that. Ooh. It's a little bitter smelling. Alright, cheers. 100 plus subs to me. I'm at 118, I want to say now. 117. Ooh, that's smooth. Alright. And to enter my contest, I want a video response. I want a video response talking about your favorite female fronted rock and roll and heavy metal bands. That one's for you, LJ. And Scott. And Metal Fusion. And all you metal heads out there. I know you guys gotta have some you can show. I've got a bunch of show. It can be from any any era. 60s, 70s, 70s. Heart, awesome band. Awesome in the 70s. Barracuda. You know, I still have to listen to this album yet, but I know what Barracuda sounds like because it's one of my all time favorites by them. 80s. Joan Jett. This is my uh, Hot Topic reissue. Great album. Great, great album. If you guys get a chance to pick this up, get it. And the vinyl looks really cool. So, I mean, if you want to spend 20 bucks on it at Hot Topic, I'd say go for it because that's just killer. Go on and take it off. More 80s. Fix it. I know Robert Z, you just got this from Adam. Have you listened to it yet, buddy? What'd you think of it if you have? If not, you better get to it. That's worth five bucks, I'm trying to say, but it's very worth five bucks. That is a tasty beer. And then, of course, 90s. I think this is 90s, isn't it? 90s and today, I have nothing from the 90s. Well, actually, I do. I think Avril Lavigne's first album was 90s, wasn't it? No, it was 2002. Well, damn. I got nothing from the 90s for female-fronted rock and roll or heavy metal bands. But then, in the background, we're listening to The Donnas. Spend the Night. I have Spend the Night. I have the Turn 21 and Gold Medal. I want more of theirs. I love the Donuts. I don't know why. I have no vinyl except for these two 45s. This one is their first. Ooh. Nike's. I almost went the beer. Ah, <laughs> uh, Rock and Roll Machine and Speeding Back to My Baby. This is a single off the first album. Okay, there we go. 90s, 1998. And then one that elu that's eluded Scott because it's gotten really pricey is. The Donna split with Kiss, and their cover of Stutter is really awesome. That's another reason I bet 
He loves Kiss, and I think he le he'd love this white, clear vinyl. I can see me through it. Hello. I'm so much more cookier with you guys than I am with the video game community. I'm so mellow there. Here. Ah, if you guys can find this beer, try it. If you're a beer connoisseur, worth it. I'll say that again. Good diamonds. This is 90s also. The Goops. Um, they, I forget where they're from. They only had two albums plus one single, Boost Cabana, which had a live um, Death of a Junkie song on it, which is the only reason to buy the single. That's all they had. Two CDs and a CD single. This is the second last album, Lucky. Pretty good stuff. Here, you know what? Let's stop. Oh, yeah, I forgot to actually show Avril Lavigne. This is the latest album of hers. Um, two years ago now, 2013. I think it was near the end of 2013. But well, here's Never Growing Up. Bitch in the Summer, uh, Bad Girl featuring Marilyn Manson, that's a really messed up song. And Hello, Heartache. Or, um, uh, the one with, let me go with Craig, whatchamacallit. So I have her entire discography now, actually, so that's kind of cool. I think I just forgot one that I wanted to share. Oh, well. Alright, so here's the goops. I'll let you guys listen to this stuff, let me get to a good song here. Uh, one that I really like, you wish, number eight. My speakers are going to have to get a new record player here. These tips, these slender fingertips. So that's the goops. Uh, I'm gonna mention Courage My Love, because I love these girls. From Canada, twins, have two EPs out, and that's about it. Only available through their, check them out on YouTube. They have a YouTube channel, and then you can get to their website to buy their CDs. Hailstorm, love me some Hailstorm. I'm showing off the uh, Reanimate 2.0, the covers EP. This is the second covers EP they had. And why haven't they had anything in a while? I mean, 2012 was the last official release by them. That's kind of annoying. Let me turn this down. Alright. Well, this one they cover six covers 1996 by Marilyn Manson, Gold Dust Woman. Hell is for Children, that Pet Band Try, that's actually a good cover. They're all really good covers. Descendant Aggressor by Judas Priest, Get Lucky by Daft Punk. They always do something like that. Uh, the first cover album, which is worth a crap one now if you want it actually on CD, um, they covered a Lady Gaga song, Bad Romance. They did a cover of Bad Romance, which was really cool. Shoot Through by ACDC sounds just like ACDC. So good, so good. I don't know what else I got left to show here. And it can it doesn't have to be hardcore metal. It could be rockabilly metal. Rockabilly rock. Like Screaming Rebel Angels. Hitchhike. That's on a red vinyl there. And I know you guys heard me talk about this already before. Because there's... Can't see it. There's the PBR can in her hand. Good old Pep Blue Ribbon. I forgot to mention Evanescence, even though I don't know if they're around anymore. Still love listening to their music. Still like them a lot. So show your favorites out of your collection of your female-fronted rock and metal bands. Any era, any version of rock or metal. Like I said, rockabilly's fine. I just want to see what you guys like. 
Now, there's another one I like that's fronted by a woman and a man called The Animal in Me. They are a YouTube band. They do, they're a screamo metal band, or a screamo rock band, I want to say, they're not like hardcore metal. But, like, he screams and she just sings normally, and I really like them. I forgot one, but I'll get to it in a second. But the only thing to ever buy of theirs is MP3 form. They got one album they released so far, MP3 form, no vinyl, no CD, no nada. So I still need to buy that, but check out The Animal In Me on YouTube. I think you metalheads and the other guys might like these. Their cover of 99 Problems by Ariana Grande is freaking amazing. And I think that's all I have to show. No. Forgot the Pretty Reckless. The Pretty Reckless. Going to hell. I love to. Uh, I forgot her name. Holy crap. Hold on. She's good looking. She's got a raspy metal voice. No, that's not metal metal. Yes, the pretty reckless. Shirley Manson. No, not Shirley Manson. Shirley Manson, that's garbage. <laughs> there we go, garbage. There's another good female friend that met rock the band. Um, yeah, so just I want to see your favorites, female fronted metal and or rock and roll bands. I'm trying to think of other ones, but I can't. So that'll give me encouragement. You guys say something that I don't have, I'm gonna probably check them out. Because right now, for the past like year and a half, I've been in this whole like female fronted metal band kick. I mean, I listen to the other stuff, but when I search on YouTube, I look for stuff like that, like uh, 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 like the European bands and the like British bands and stuff like that, like uh, and other foreign bands, like Greeno. You, ah, uh, you know, uh, Trajar, however pronouncer. Um, Lacuna Coil, another good one. Heck, they don't have to be the only singer in the band. Fleetwood Mac, there we go. Awesome 70s rock and roll band that's got female singers in times. In it. Whoo! That was a long speech. Alright, so, my contest. 118 sub, I'm just going to say 100 plus sub contest. Favorite female fronted rock and roll and or heavy metal band. Cheers.